Okay, so here we go. In this step, we're going to set about creating a proper landscape material for our landscape that we've created. So we're going to do everything that's needed in this one step. So we'll jump straight into it so it doesn't take too long. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is make sure that you've got all the textures that we're going to be using. So you need the dirt texture. So dirt D, dirt N, dirt R. Then we've got two grasses, grass 2D, grass 2N, grass 2R, grass D, grass N, grass R, and rock terrain D, rock terrain N, and rock terrain R. These are all available through my project, uh, so you can get them downloaded, or you can go out and find your own versions, that's absolutely fine. But you need to have those ready to go and in your textures folder. So that's step one. And now we're going to go into our materials folder, and we're going to create a new material. So I'm just going to right click, click on material, and I'm going to call this uh, M underscore landscape so this is the oh hang on one already exists oh yeah i've already done this once because i've been uh, writing the thing as well so i'm going to call this landscape mm, new that'll do it right so we then need to get that opened up we're going to do some stuff with it i'll close the other one as well so i've not got too much going on so this is our landscape material so it's got nothing in it just like we did when we started the practice one and now we're going to put some other things in but the magic comes from one particular node that allows us to blend between different textures and that is called a landscape layer blend node there it is very unassuming very simple looking node but so powerful and what we need to do we know that we've got four count them one two three four we've got four different types of textures that we're going to use we've got the dirt two different types of grass and we've got the rock as well so we need to create four elements within this layer blend node so in the details panel here it is you can see there are currently zero array elements so we're going to add four by clicking on this plus symbol four times one two three four. Oh, my phone went off never mind we'll leave it in i'm popular enough to get to get messages don't you worry about it i am going to put it on silent now there we go sorry everyone okay so we've got um these four layers and each one of them needs a layer name so i'm going to call this one dirt press enter when you've renamed it the next layer is going to be called grass and i'm going to call one of them grass dry and the next one grass lush so that that's a little bit more descriptive i know what type of grass i'm painting with and the final one is going to be called rock like that and you can see that those names are reflected within the layer blend node like that so i'll just pop that over there for now what we need to do next is create four texture sample expressions so that we can get the textures plugged into this layer blend node so the way i'm going to do this is i'm just going to hold t on my keyboard and left click one two three four times okay and then just to kind of line these up a little bit i like these to go in a line like this so that i can see what i'm doing so i'll get them put like that and then for each one i want to load in the kind of associated texture for it so we're going to do this one first and because it's at the top i'm going to choose the dirt texture so click on it go into your details panel and then where it says none here we're going to search for dirt underscore d d denotes diffuse which is the same as base color so we'll click on that and that will load in next one we're going to do dry grass so we'll have a look in here and i believe that that is grass 2 in this case so grass 2 underscore d should be dry grass the next one is just going to be grass underscore d because that's the more lush grass and the final one is going to be rock terrain underscore d Yep, so they're all the diffuse textures. And then what we need to do is plug each one of those, oh no, each one of those into the appropriate input on the layer blend. Like that. And then the final step to do with this is to plug the output of the layer blend into the input over here, base color. And that's done. The last thing to do with this is to select them all we're going to press C to get it in a comment, and I'm going to call this base color. Oh, hey, there we go. And I am using the British spelling of color because 
that's where I'm from. So there. Okay. So that's base colour done. Now we need to do this two more times, but we need to do this for normal and we need to do this for roughness. So rather than import all those nodes again, we can do that by copying what we've already got and just swapping out the texture. So that's what we'll do. So in order to do that, we're going to click and drag to get a marquee selection of all five of those nodes and the comment that surrounds them. And then I'm going to hit Control and C on my keyboard, which is the universal command for copy. And then I'm going to hit Control and V as well. And now we get a copy of all those nodes that we can place down here, which I'll just zoom in on quickly. And these ones are going to be roughness. So I'll rename this to roughness straight away. And now I need to swap out all the textures for their roughness counterparts. So the first one is dirt. So instead of dirt underscore D, it's going to be dirt underscore R. The next one, instead of grass underscore, uh, grass two underscore D, it'll be grass two underscore R and so on. So where's grass roughness and rock terrain roughness? Okay. Nice and straightforward, I'm all about that. And then what I'll do, just to make my life a bit easier, is I'll pull this node down here so it's closer, and then I can plug the output into the roughness input of the main material node. And now I need to do this one final time for the normal. So I can just paste again, because I've already got it copied somewhere. There we go. And this time I'll zoom in and I'll call this normal. This is my group of normal textures. And then this one is going to be underscore N. And they'll all go with the underscore N textures now. Grass 2 underscore N. Grass underscore N. And rock underscore N. Ta-da! Okay, and last step is to get this plugged in to normal. Ooh, that's looking good. Right, now you're going to have to start zooming out a little bit to kind of keep everything looking sort of visible so you can see what you want. But you can see I've got a base colour with four textures that will be blended together, roughness, four textures that will blend, and normal with four textures that will blend. There's one more node that we need to add to this before we can call it finished or anything approaching finished at this stage. And that's the one that's going to handle the UV coordinates and whether or not we want to change the scaling of this. And that is going to be our landscape layer coordinates. There it is. And this one, you need to plug into the UVs of all the textures that you've included. So what I find easiest to do is put it close to the texture samples that I need to use. And that way it just makes it easier to aim around like this. So then we'll have it into the roughness ones. And then finally, it needs to go in normal as well. One, two, three, four. And then just to try and neaten this up at the end, I'll pull this over here so that I can see how everything's working. Okay, so that is the simplest version of this type of material that we can create. There, we may well come back into this and make some other tweaks to add things so we can tint the colours a little bit so that we can tweak the roughness values. But for now, I'm happy enough with this. So what we'll do is save it. And then in the next step, we'll start painting that onto our landscape using the landscape painting tools. So let's hit save. And once it's saved, move over to the next step and we'll start painting. Thanks for watching. If you really want to take your learning further than I can cover in this series, then I highly recommend checking out Pluralsight. They have loads of really detailed video courses covering game art and game development using Unreal Engine 4. When I learned how to use Unreal a couple of years ago, this is where I went and I log in regularly to take a new course and improve my skills. I recommend checking out the Introduction to Unreal Engine 4 course by Joshua Kinney. This is really good and offers a good overview of what you can do in Unreal. You can get a free 10 day trial by using my link in the video description and you get full access to all of their courses for that time. At the end of your 10 days, you can either subscribe for more or cancel, totally up to you. It's gotta be worth a free trial though, right? 
I'd like to say a massive thank you to my patrons. Your support helps me to keep making videos like this one and I really appreciate each and every one of you. It really blows my mind that people will support my channel and my work by pledging their money through Patreon. So again, thank you all so, so much. If you aren't already a patron and you'd like to offer your support, then please go to patreon.com forward slash Shane Whittington.